Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to I Mine Blocks. Hope you're all doing great today. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to mine Monero. So you've probably seen a lot of these videos before, but the reason why I'm making this one is because Monero's proof of work algorithm has changed. So as of March 11th, uh, the Monero proof of work algorithm, it changed to Kryptonite V9 or Kryptonite R, as some people are also calling it. So what that means is that you need to update your miners and your mining pools. Uh, your wallets will also need to be updated in due course as well, although you can use um, your same uh, Monero addresses if you already have those. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to get set up mining Monero using a NVIDIA miner, uh, but the process is very much the same if you've also got a AMD rig, um, just slightly different uh, versions of the same miner. So I'll actually be showing you how to use the XMR rig miner. Um, for whatever reason, I couldn't get the XMR stack miner to run. So I'll be showing you with the XMR rig and um, I'll get you guys up and running. So let's get started. Okay, so on my Windows uh, desktop, you can see I've got the miner that's running here. So it's the XMR or XM rig miner that I'm using. The current version that I'm using is 2.14.1 and I'm using the NVIDIA version. There is also a CPU version and also a AMD version. I'll talk about the different versions and how you can access them in just a moment. Uh, but using this miner, I am on my GTX uh, 1080 Ti. I get in roughly around about 770 to 780 hashes per second. Now, just to let you guys know, um, I've seen much better performance on the AMD Vega cards. I've seen those guys are getting around about 1900, so almost two to three times as much performance uh, versus NVIDIA. So AMD miners um, are really gonna benefit from using um, the different various mining hardware and software. Uh, compared to the NVIDIA guys, unfortunately. Um, so I haven't got very many benchmarks and stuff, so um, I'm not too sure how representative of this is. You guys might get um, better performance. Um, also, if you've got any of the Turing-based cards, the, the 2000 series um, NVIDIA cards, you might get much better performance again. But I just wanted to share this with you um, anyway, just to help you guys get started. So the first part will be downloading the correct miner. So open up your browser. I'll put all the links in the video description that you need. So it's the GitHub XMRig slash XMRig. This takes you to the kind of the full GitHub page where you can download the various versions. And you can see here that there is the NVIDIA and a AMD version. So if we select the NVIDIA version, it just opens up in a new tab. Make sure if you go to this, uh, make sure you go to the, the uh, correct version and then it's always all of your, all of your downloads are from the releases part. So just to make you aware, if you scroll down a little bit further down the page, you can see we've got all these uh, various CUDA versions. So you want to match the CUDA version to whatever your card supports. So uh, for if you've got a 10 series or 20 series uh, NVIDIA GPU, you can use CUDA 10. Um, if you've got older generations, 9 series, then you might want to trust it with um, the CUDA 9 versions. So download the version that's most appropriate to you. I would say start at 10 and work your way backwards. That'll probably get you the best performance and results. So I've already downloaded the CUDA 10 version. For those guys that are interested in the AMD versions, uh, again, link in the video description and you want to visit the GitHub repo and you want to download this version here if you're on Windows or that version there if you're on Linux. Most of you guys, I guess, will probably be on uh, Windows. So then once the money has downloaded, you want to go to your downloads folder, uh, which is this one. And then we've got the XM rig NVIDIA, like I say, it's 2.1.14.1 and it's CUDA 10 is the version that I'm currently uh, using. So then you want to right click and you want to extract it to a folder. Um, I've extracted it to this AV excluded folder here just to kind of um, to stop my antivirus um, interfering with it. And then we've got this XMRIG folder. And again, so this is kind of a, the, the basic minor folder. And then from here, we can do our configuration. So when you first look into this folder, you'll have this config.json file. So that's the one that you want to edit to um, put in your pull details, etc. So you want to select it and then right click and you want to open it. You can open it with Notepad or WordPad. Um, I'll just open it with WordPad. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, different settings in here, but you only really need to change uh, just a few different things. So at the top, you wanna to make sure it's set to Kryptonite, the algorithm, make sure that's set to Kryptonite. 
The next part that you want to change is this donate level. So by default that's set to five, so it's a 5% donation, which is quite high. Uh, the minimum you can select is one, so change your donation level to one, I would say. Then the next part is setting up your pools and configuration. So this part here is your pool. So if you're not familiar with that, you visit your pool of choice. So I'm mining at xmrpool.eu. You would then go to getting started, uh, connection details, and then here are all your connection details. So effectively, you just have the website URL or the pool URL, and then it's followed by a port depending on what difficulty you want to start your miner at. Going back to that configuration. So a pool URL is this. So it's the URL followed by the pool. Then we've got user. Notice the correct formatting. So the user is just a Monero address. So you can create it from the Monero web wallet or the, uh, the Monero GUI. However you want to set it, you can even mine to a, um, like an exchange if you want, although I don't really recommend that. So your Monero address goes there. The next part is your password for the pool. Most passwords, or sorry, most pools don't have a specific password unless you kind of set a, an account with them. So in most cases, you'll just leave that as X. You've also got a rig ID. I've left mine blank, but you can change it to like a rig nickname. For example, if you've got 10 uh, GTX 1080 Ti's or something like that, for example. Nice hash is false. Uh, pretty much everything else there you want to keep as it is. Um, TLS, uh, if your pool uses a secure um, protocol, you can change that to true, but a lot of them don't. And then everything else further down, you can basically just leave that all as it is. It's uh, ready for tweaking um, to get the best performance, but for most people, everything else will just leave it as it is, and that should do you um, fine. So then from there, once you've uh, amended the config, you're ready to save it. So obviously save, and then you can close that config file. I'll just close that one just to show you what the restart process looks like. So then you can just click on the xmrig-nvidia executable or the MD version if that's what you've got. And it will start up and it'll look like this. So you can see we're only using a single GPU, so GPU 0, GeForce uh, GTX 1080 Ti, and it's also got the clock speeds connected to the pool and the donation level. And it shows you your starting difficulty. And then from there, it's going to go through start mining and you should start to see accepted shares. So accepted shares are what you basically always want to see. So in terms of um, performance overclocking uh, configuration, I've not done a great deal of testing with it. Um, really, I only just uh, started with this yesterday. Um, but the power limit, when I've been setting the power limit, didn't really seem to make very much difference at all. Not too sure why that is. Again, maybe more testing, I can get to the bottom of it. Uh, the core clock, I've got it at minus 200, so that takes it to 1785, roughly. Uh, changing the core clock didn't make much difference to the uh, performance of the miner. Uh, the memory clock, with a slight overclock on the memory, um, got a roughly around, I don't know, between sort of 10 and 20 extra hashes. So not really very much performance there, but it didn't really cost any extra power uh, either. So they're the settings that I'm using just at the moment. I've not really done, like I say, a great deal of testing with it, but just kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm using and you can kind of reproduce those results. Uh, but like I say, um, the NVIDIA graphics cards are doing okay, but um, if you guys have got one of the Vega cards, um, you should actually be smashing it. So you guys have got a huge advantage for a change, which is nice. So here you can see the miner has started running. We've got some accepted shares now. You can see the difficulty has been um, reset accordingly. And again, 760, and this will probably level out and start going up to around about 780, 790 um, hashes per second. Um, I was using roughly around about 160 watts with this miner according, according to the mining software. Uh, taking a quick look on the pool, I'll show you how that looks. So I'm using the xmrpool.eu. I've not used this one before, but it supported what I wanted it to do. So from the main page, um, if you scroll down, you enter your 
Monero wallet address and then you look up and then it'll tell you a little bit of information regarding uh, your mining efforts. So you can see we've got a pending balance. Um, I started mining around about 1 a.m. last night. So it's roughly um, about nine hours of mining time. So let's give you an idea on the earnings. So not, not looking particularly great to be honest, but uh, as always, you know, just sharing these things and my experience with you guys so you can guys can get a better idea for yourself. But anyway, uh, looking a little bit further down, what you should see is uh, your worker ID, if you've changed it, if not, it'll just say default. And then you should see a hash rate that is similar to what you've already, um, what you're seeing in your miner. And also accept the hashes, you wanna see that continuing up over time. And that's basically it from, from there. Okay guys, so that's about it for this video. Uh, if you need any links for those miners, all that kind of stuff, I'll put all that in the video description below. Any questions or comments, again, let me know down below. One other guys, uh, one other thing, should I say, you guys can really help me out, is um, let me know in the comments what your performance is. So tell me what your graphics card is, or if you've got multiple ones, and share your performance um, down below. Uh, and let me know what results you guys are getting. Like I said, there's not very much benchmark information at the moment, so if you put all that down below, it'll help the other guys out in the community, and everyone can kind of work out what you're gonna get uh, with your hardware. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.